What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream with an update video on this Tuesday, May 31st, 2022 date, uh, last day of May. I can't believe it. Got June coming up tomorrow. Uh, did anybody catch any uh, meteor showers last night? I, I was out there for quite a while. Camera ready and whatnot. I even brought out the uh, Nikon D7200 to capture maybe some faint uh, meteors that you know maybe I couldn't see with the eye but uh, man I I didn't see any to be honest I did not see one meteor last night and I know I'm not the only one kind of floating around on social media that there was a complete dud as well I think to be honest folks I think I've seen more meteors on a non meteor or like a non meteor event type of night on just like your typical night than I did see last night uh, Missy Mimi's did see two supposedly out of the camera view so it is what it is right because we were kind of warned about it. it was going to be either an awesome show or a complete dud and a complete dud in my book latest quake here a 3.2 earthquake into the area of California look at that things ramping up a little bit let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the map this is the EMSC model showing uh, movement over the world well, since uh, it looks like the last day or so of activity, I want to jump into the California range real quick here. See what we got brewing up here in the Cobb Mountain region. Look at that. After a couple days of quiet activity, it appears that things are back in the swing of things. Uh, it's been relatively quiet in terms of earthquake movement here around the Clear Lake area. If you don't know what's down here, there's a major uh, hydro... Uh, hydrothermal operation field here power plant uh, they create uh, power from from uh, steam injection of the sewage way down below into the uh, below the surface and not 100% certain how they um, how the whole process is but it I don't know once once they start talking about sewage I kind of back out of there but uh, they do create quite a few earthquakes here Calpine I'm pretty certain they are still the ones operating this uh, hydrothermal field out here and there's a bunch of them let's go ahead and see where the 3.2 is we'll go down to the satellite view um, and yeah <clears throat> already already seen that looks what well, we got here let's see what we got right next to one of these plants here in the hydrothermal fields I was just up there a few months ago driving around I was hoping to get uh, maybe like a tour of the plant but uh, haven't got back down there recently so Got a whole bunch going on here at the home front. But either way, 3.2 right next to, uh, I'm talking within oh, about 500 feet or less of the one of the hydrothermal plants out here. And there's a bunch of them as well. There's pipes all throughout this region. Um, it's just a, a very complex area of, um, of man-made earthquakes, to be honest. There's a lot going on down there below the surface, and these guys found a way to create energy and power um, communities. I'm not for sure which power uh, or which communities they power, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a bunch it's from, from what I hear. So today, 3.2 and a 1.8 kicking up there. As I mentioned, it has been quiet. Normally, you'll see a large cluster of quakes in here on any given day, 30 to 40 earthquakes. Uh, yesterday and the day before I noticed that things were very calm very quiet let me show you what it normally looks like this is the last this is the last seven days and this should even be a larger number um, I don't know if they put everything on halt for a little bit maybe for the uh, Memorial Day weekend possibly but they're definitely getting ramping up today with that 3.2 this is the last 30 days of activity so thinking the hol the uh, holiday weekend had something to do with the uh, um, with the lack of activity but uh, we'll see if this kicks up obviously it is today with that 3.2 uh, that's striking down there at about 2.8 kilometers a little bit deeper one uh, within the vicinity uh, with a 1.8 at 6 kilometers so things things starting to uh, look normal there for the uh, ongoing operations in the uh, geothermal field there Northern California the rest of it up here Pretty quiet not a whole lot going on through the north state oregon as well washington looks a little spotty not a whole lot of activity throughout the volcanoes either um, we did see some trimmer activity last night again kind of kick up into the area of uh, northern california 
and the Washington region here. This is yesterday's event. Uh, 111 epicenters of trimmer, Northern California and up through the Washington region. Uh, it's been kind of tapering off a little bit uh, yesterday and the day before from a pretty large uptick where we were seeing roughly about five, 600 epicenters in one day. Uh, let's check out Mount St. Helens uh, seismic map here real quick and see if we got any earthquake activity to report. That's not shown up there on the map. Uh, yep. Yeah. This is um, 31st UTC time, and that is the correct time zone. Date stamp, definitely earthquake activity showing up here. Mount St. Helens again. Uh, again, these are not huge earthquakes at all. Definitely, uh, I believe, under the 1.0 threshold, but there's earthquakes. So it looks like they're starting to pick up again um, over the last oh, 12 hours or so. Getting back to the earthquake activity. Globally, well, let's go ahead and finish off Northern California here real quick. Let me bring up the all magnitudes. Nada up through there, up into Montana and through Yellowstone here, Wyoming. Little activity shown up here on the map today around Yellowstone. Looks like a little cluster of quakes near the Warm River area. Um, not for sure why they mentioned Warm River, Idaho, when this is clearly into the Yellowstone region, Wyoming. Uh, pretty deep earthquake activity, though, about 13 to... Yeah, around 13 kilometers or so, a little bit more shallower for some of them, but uh, it's pretty good, pretty good uh, little quake there, activity. Yeah, see if we can find it. That's going to be this activity right here on the Pitchstone Plateau area. This is the recorded events there that we're seeing on the map. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab a drink of my coffee here. Ah, coffee. It's good any time of day, let me tell you. So there's those events which the uh, USGS show in there pretty uh, nicely. Looks like about six of them recorded. And looking at the seismograph here, there's probably about six, maybe seven or eight, uh, some very other small ones with uh, some other small ones within the vicinity of this little little quake swarm. Looks like overnight as well, but uh, no major activity to report here at Yellowstone National Park. No major swarms, just this little minor activity that the uh, USGS is reporting there on the map. Some movement down through Salt Lake City along the crest of these mountains here. Uh, just some very small earthquakes. Very, very small. Uh, Bay Area of California. Seen some activity right here. Little earthquake within the last hour near Seven Trees, California. A 1.3 on the, uh, looks like the Calaveras Fault System. Not a whole lot going on on the San Andreas Fault today or the eastern section here of the Sierra Nevada. Long Valley Super Volcano south through Ridgecrest. Just a couple small microquakes. And north of Lancaster, got a 1.5 near Mojave. That's kind of out there. In between this, in this plate area, in this uh, fault boundary, I should say. You got the San Andreas Fault. San Andreas, right? Southern, sec uh, southern section down here. And then you got the Garlock Fault structure right here. This is a, I think, it, I think this thing plays a lot more uh, in, uh, I think it's got a potential pretty much to create a large damaging earthquake here. It's been a while since we've seen any earthquake activity, large scale movement on the Garlock Fault. And of course the San Andreas Fault down here in the southern segment, that's been uh, well over 300 years and been building up some strain here. But this earthquake, the 1.5, um, kind of out there, uh, away from both of these faults and the plate boundary, but uh, I'm not 100% certain which fault system this struck on. It's just kind of an odd quake in that triangle type um, area right here. I'm just going to watch that and see if we get any swarming on the Garlock Fault here uh, following this movement. It's just a little microquake, but sometimes these little ones can lead to much bigger ones in this type of uh, setup. It's an automatic status review. Um, at 0.3 kilometers, very shallow earthquake if this is indeed uh, the correct measurements. But we'll see uh, what the USGS uh, does with that quake. Not a whole lot going on through Southern California. Yes, earthquake activity, but nothing major along the San, uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone. No swarming to report in the Salton Sea, low activity south of the border. Uh, just off the Imperial Fault, a couple small two-pointers uh, two there in that region. Oklahoma. Texas, a little spotty activity throughout the region, and one earthquake here on the New Madrid zone. We haven't seen that um, 
We haven't really seen too much earthquake activity here, but this is actually, you gotta zoom in here to actually see what's going on. There's a little swarm of activity here on the New Madrid zone right now. Um, let's see here, latest one, a 3.1. Uh, getting a little big there in that area let me see if i can pull up the uh standby for the for a second here the seismographs within this region and see what we got okay so this is striking uh where we at again roughly around that area okay standby for just a second so i want to see what we got here in terms of uh recorded movement wonder if that was uh, overnight in the last hour or so there's not a whole lot showing I have to go back on the recorded uh, data and see um, let's see hold on stand by for just a second here folks a couple other ones I can pick up here and uh, this is the Arkansas network those quakes don't appear to be showing up on um, some of the data here, but they're definitely USGS definitely showing it um, within this area. I'll come back and double check that. Uh, see if I can pull up the recorded readings here near the Wrigley, Tennessee area. Again, this is on the New Madrid zone. Let me show you guys the uh, U.S. hazard map right smack dab within the main area of the fault system here so we've got to watch that when we see these events like that kind of go from minor to uh, getting up there in, in the magnitudes is something to watch pretty closely here uh, as it's been a while since we've seen of course the early 1800s seen that uh, series of events there on the new Madrid zone any large earthquake out here in the uh, in this area of the country is going to be felt much broader uh, and much stronger compared to out here in California just due to the uh, the land and and whatnot uh, topography of the environment but something to watch definitely something to watch here pretty closely folks And the depth of these earthquakes here um, between 8 and 11 kilometers let me double check make sure this isn't any automatic status it has been reviewed by a professional, so to speak. Um, so that is standing. It looks like it was felt by a couple people here, this 3.1. A lot of times these folks over here in this, like I mentioned, in this area of the country will feel uh, a two-pointer, which out here on the West Coast, we probably wouldn't. So it looks like this was felt, uh, yeah, over a broad area throughout the states here, throughout the uh, uh, Tennessee region. A couple of folks reported some light shaking around the Dryersburg area. Dyersburg, it looks like. So, all right, we'll watch that pretty closely because this area hasn't shown too much movement. Let's go check out the last seven days of activity here. Uh, that only adds on two small earthquakes. Uh, looks like uh, one yesterday and then one uh, prior to that so this activity looks like it struck overnight <clears throat> with that timestamp there of 0840 UTC time and that's gonna put it at uh, Hmm. All right, so anyway, let me uh, bounce off of that. I'm going to look at this here in a little bit more detail after the update. Uh, let's go back and continue with the update video here. Watch that pretty closely. Uh, Puerto Rico region, uh, some activity scattered out and about around the Puerto Rico Trench. South America, uh, the majority of this activity from yesterday, so we haven't really seen too much in terms of uh, some newer movement. An area that has seen some activity ramping up uh, in Alaska, the Aleutian Trench area has seen a five-pointer, a 5.2, um, at 51 kilometers here into the uh, subduction zone. 51 kilometers deep there into the uh, uh, North American Pacific Plate subduction zone here. And some activity up through Alaska. It looks like a couple small microquakes lighting up over the last hour. 
Uh, let's see what we got here. Double check here. That was the aftershock at 1.8. Uh, let's see through looks like the Indonesia area did see a couple small quakes overnight and uh, this morning time frame a couple fours and uh, there were some fives in this area as well yesterday but uh, not a whole lot of uh, newer large-scale movement currently taking place there in that area same for the Samoa Tonga region uh, looks like some of that activity from uh, this morning and one from yesterday there a pretty deep one 250 kilometers so uh, looks like Hawaii still continues to move quite a bit uh, and watching the live seismographs there on the earthquake 3d stream and it's been showing quite a bit picking up here in the two range uh, not for sure if we had anything over that looks like we had one 2.5 but uh, these earthquakes that are popping up here around Pahala area have been showing up pretty nicely on the Alia permanent station, which I have on the live stream. And there's a bunch of them. Today, uh, we've got about 30 earthquakes or so over the last 24 hours in this area of the big island. Low activity off on the Lohi Sea Mount. Didn't even see that. That was at 2.5 uh, overnight, it looks like, or early this morning time frame. Not a whole lot going on through the northwestern portion of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Got one deep earthquake there into the Sea of Osk. Looks like uh, 407 kilometers for that super deep uh, quake there in the sea. Nothing going on in the Atlantic. Just, uh, like I say, with this movement along the west coast here and, and the line of activity kind of, you guys notice that little line? It does happen on occasion. Kind of see, uh, let's go back to the last 30 days here see if we can spot that line sometimes a lot of times it, you'll see like a trail of activity here leading towards a new Madrid zone but uh, not not really all that visible uh, on the last 30 days but something to watch here folks when we get these magnitudes kicking up here been a lot been a little while since we've seen a three-pointer kick up and they're kind of stepping up in terms of the magnitudes in that region so we will watch that pretty closely uh, earthquake scan to map here into the northern part of the yeah, it looks like uh, just north of the Cascadia uh, and to the west here a couple small microquakes in the red circles indicating some movement uh, along the Pacific well, it kind of looks like it's stretching into the uh, Explorer plate here that's this little microplate area latest quake shows some movement in the purple circle here uh, in the BC region of 1.3. So a little activity uh, today in today's time frame for that region. Let's see what we got for uh, space weather real quick. Not a whole lot going on. Green across the board, folks. Green, green, green. A whole lot of greenery. No major events going on. No coronal holes that I can see. And far as sunspot activity looks pretty uh it doesn't look <laughs> doesn't look all that good uh, i'm sad i enjoy the solar weather activity but uh well a little quiet period and then maybe who knows we'll have some more activity kicking up here on the uh earth side of the sun here facing or uh, facing us here pretty soon the way over on the eastern limb looks like maybe a possible uh new development here on the southeastern limb but uh We'll see. We'll see how it goes, folks. All right. Have a good day. We will chat at you a little bit later. And um, let me know in the comments in this video if you guys happen to see any uh, meteors last night because I, I didn't. You know, I didn't. I didn't even see one, and I was out there for a good portion of the night. Um, had a clear, open view of the sky, no light pollution. But uh, let me know if you've seen any, and uh, if you. Uh, uh, where you're located at that way we can uh, maybe it was only in a certain area but I could swore I was in a good region to be able to see these uh, meteors I just think it was a complete dud though all right guys take care stay safe and be prepared out there we'll catch you later on tonight's update peace out